In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this storage case for Warhammer miniatures. Hey guys, just getting ready to start another project here. So let me show you the idea that I came up with and what this is all about. Okay, for this project, I decided to use SketchUp and to design something that I was going to need. And uh, this is the cabinet that I designed here. Now, this is um, sort of like a bookcase storage case for Warhammer miniatures. The first thing I did was I, I, I measured to see how long I could make it. I ended up about 62 and a quarter inches. And I knew I could only go 33 inches high because it fits underneath a windowsill. So I didn't want it to be hitting the windowsill. Now, the other thing that I had to come up with is I had to find out what type of uh, drawer slides I could use for this. So the shortest drawer slides I could find were 12 inches and they're half inch wide. So I knew I had to leave a half inch gap on all of my drawer slide outs here or my shelf slide outs, I should say. So. The one thing about that is that I had to make this 12 inches wide, these side pieces 12 inches wide, and um, which ended up an overall depth of 13 inches because I have three quarter inch front piece here and I have a quarter inch back that's uh, rabbited into uh, the back here. So those were the dimensions that I had to come up with. So I started with those dimensions and then started working everything around that. Now I made just five shelves. Um, for the cabinet and I think that that might be enough at least for right now and I can always add to it later on if I need to. Alright so the idea was that these shelves were made so that they could slide out and go back and forth and this allows me to see the pieces. Now the shelves themselves are just three quarter inch maple uh, mitered and then I have a quarter inch rabbit coming in from the bottom and when I took on, click on the x-ray here uh, we can see that quarter inch rabbit right there and I have a half inch piece of um, plywood coming up in there and probably didn't really need it to be that thick but I just wanted to be solid and then I have a piece of galvanized steel that goes across the top and uh, this galvanized steel is what is going to allow it to um, stick down all of the pieces that I have because they all they're all magnetized on the bottom so they'll, they'll attach to this shelf so anyway, this is my starting plans for that. Now from here in SketchUp, I can go ahead and make a cut list. And uh, once I have the cut list, I take that out to the shop. So this is the planning stage for this cabinet. Okay, so as you can see, I designed that on SketchUp. And um, here's my SketchUp drawing here. And the nice thing about using SketchUp is that it makes you a nice uh, little parts list here that you can cut from and uh, gives you all your pieces all the sizes so you can make all the cuts at once so you could spend a couple hours just cutting out all the pieces and then you could start assembling which really makes life easier but it gives you a nice cutting diagram and uh, showing you exactly where to set up everything to make the cuts so that's what i'm going to do now
How's it going? I thought I'd break this up into two parts so that uh, give you time to, you know, take a break and have a little cup of coffee or maybe a glass of water or something like that. But uh, when you're ready, go ahead and click on this video right here and take you right to part two to show you how I made these shelves, these rollout shelves for this storage unit. And I want to thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe. That does help out the channel. So go ahead and click on this video now. Watch the second part.